This is Kenji. He's using a centuries-old technique to dye silk for a kimono. It's physically demanding, but that's not the only challenge. He has to match this color exactly, making adjustments by eye. And it's essential that the fabric inside this barrel remains white. Kenji won't know if he's successful until he opens the lid. This is one of over 20 steps required to make a kimono. You can buy a cotton kimono for $300, but a handmade chiso kimono can cost over $10,000. And the company's most expensive kimonos cost 10 times that. We followed 10 artisans step by step to find out what makes these kimonos so expensive. Versions of the kimono have been worn for centuries. Today, the kimono is viewed as formal wear, worn on special occasions like weddings or coming of age ceremonies. Part of the reason why Chiso's kimonos are so expensive is that they're made entirely out of silk. It takes around 12 meters of silk to make a single kimono. Chiso collaborates with a network of highly skilled artisans. Each step is done by hand and can take weeks to complete. This intricate design starts out as a simple sketch. So, once the design is ready, Hiroshi transfers it to the silk. This step is called drafting, and it can take up to two weeks. Hiroshi ensures that the design looks good when the kimono is worn, not just on a flat surface. These lines are critical to the design process, but you won't see them on the finished kimono. This paint is washed away after acting as a guide for other artisans. Hiroshi has 37 years of experience, but he's still very critical of his work. Chiso's kimonos are known for their complex patterns, painted using a technique called yuzen. Artisans trace the design with a glue-like paste that separates colours when the silk is painted. It also gives a characteristic white outline to parts of the design. It's patient work, but Ai says it's all worth it when she sees the finished kimono. あの、着物を作る職人になりたいなと思って京都に出てきたんですけれど。やっぱり根気はすごくいります。し、やっぱ座りっぱなしなのでちょっと肩が凝ってきたりとかもあるんですけど。根気さえあればってところはあります。とあ
稽古して、まあ、教えてもらってやってるんですですから何十年って<笑>なりますけどね。The seam Hiromi is sewing forms the edge of the design. Then Matsuyama wraps the silk along this wooden tub and tacks it into place before he attaches the lid. This step is key to preventing dye from bleeding inside. Now it's time for Kenji to dip the silk. He works quickly but constantly monitors the silk to ensure it's dyed correctly. If the barrel remains in the dye for too long, the colours will start to bleed. Kenji cuts a strip of fabric, compares it to the swatch, and adjusts his dye accordingly. <laughs> After the dyeing is complete, Kenji lifts the lid and examines his work. All of these steps combine to tell a story through the design of the kimono. Themes of nature or the seasons are common, while some designs reference poems or plays. One of the most skilled and delicate steps is the yuzen dyeing. Tomoko has 25 years of experience making kimonos. Yuzen dyeing has been practiced for centuries and has become an iconic feature of high end kimonos. The technique is more expensive and time consuming than screen printing. But Chiso's customers are willing to pay a premium for the result. Long sleeved kimonos with complicated designs can take two to three weeks to paint. これを合わすにはだいたいどうしたらいいかっていうのはもう書いてるっていうことです。あの数字にはできないので、技術的に難しいものはやはりあの写実調のいわゆる自然のままのようなあの花でありますとか草花紋っていうののの。the final step in the process is for artisans to apply gold leaf and embroider complex designs. Embroidery alone can take weeks to months depending on the design. The more embroidery a kimono has, the more expensive it will be. When all the pieces fall into place, the finished kimono is a work of art, a testament to the skill of each artisan who has worked on the silk. 作るのにだいたい20名ぐらいの人がかかってます。その手仕事のやっぱり良さ、ま細部であったり、ま、それぞれの工程の非常にこう高い技術が要求されまして、それはやっぱりこう機械ではなかなかできない本当にこう細部の
どれだけ手を加えたかっていうそれは友禅の細かさであったりまあもちろん分量も関係してきますし。Customers looking for less expensive kimonos might choose to rent or to buy refurbished ones, which usually cost a few hundred dollars but still provide good quality. Buying a cotton kimono or one without complex yuzen is much more affordable. These kimonos are often worn for less formal events. But current demand for expensive, complex kimonos is low. Kimono sales declined dramatically in the 90s during Japan's economic crash. And the industry has continued to shrink. Today, it's around 14% of the size it was in 1975. Shiso sells around 4,000 kimonos each year, but the relevance of the garment in modern life is limited. Further complicating matters. The artisans it relies upon to maintain production are getting older. The その e ぱり伝統的な技術はあのやっぱりその職人の技術力がまあ高いということが条件なんですが、だいたい職人さん今で六十代とか七十代の方たくさんいらっしゃるんで、え三十年以上あの仕事してていただいている方が多いと思います。今新しい職人さんを見つけるのはあのやっぱりそういう職人の仕事をやりたいっていうそういう若い方もいらっしゃいますんで、まあ、ただ全体的には職人の数はやっぱり減っていってますね。The future of this centuries-old clothing tradition depends on the skill of the artisans who practice it.